Okay, <clears throat> so this is some of the fine detail. It's really too hard to teach or demonstrate because it does take some time. This is kind of the mouth parts of the sea anemone. Well, in actuality, these are the mouth parts of the sea anemone. But these are also details that, um, now I'm going more for the scientific part, um, just so that um, mainly so people can see the dis difference between something really super loose and something a little bit tighter. Now, obviously, I could even go even further uh, with, if it was in a scientific mode, but um, still gives you the essence of how to do scientific illustration. Um, I'll give you another little Okay, so this was um, just put some purple in there and just to spice it up some, just add a little bit more detail. And every little bit more just adds more to the somewhat realism of watercolors. Um, and if I was probably in a scientific process, I would be using maybe a computer. Um, instant gratification with thousands and hundreds of thousands of colors and have the ability to delete instantly add layers, do kind of, uh, I guess what would they say, it, um, an idea of what it might look, and if it doesn't look right, you just kind of go over it, or put it in a different layer and, and redo it. So these are little teeny little things that, um, Try to push it over the top. Now this is the, the thing that can make things go on and on and on. I will look for little teeny areas and expand on them. And this is what takes forever. Um, it's sometimes little subtle little things that have a little difference, subtle difference that makes it uh, almost impossible to teach because this is what years and years of experience, I see things a little differently from experience. You can see just little tiny blending things, um, just kind of making little bits of shadows and lights and... And I did go over a few things. And I'll probably do some more detail on that, a little bit more on the 
top fin. So, just wanted to just show what 90% looks like for me. Uh, whenever I get to this point, there's a few things that are still outstanding. Uh, but also, um, things were, now the time set is to spend time just looking for little tiny things. And I'm going to just go briefly through this. And when I look at this, I'll, you know, see little teeny things, and then it's just a constant. Touch-up of sorts. Some things I can see that worked. Some things that didn't. And, um... Like I said, I can see looking at this right here, definitely you need some more work in there. Uh, these fish right up here need more work. But that's just uh, the process for me. Went back into the turtle and added a few more things. Uh, went into this little trigger fish and then things for me, not anybody else. Um, Hello, um, I'm Steve Melendres, a model maker, illustrator, scientific illustrator, sculptor, design after history museum in Los Angeles. I've done a lot of different things, um, but I'm going to be doing watercolor demonstrations of the techniques I've developed over the years. Um, and it's going to go from a lot of different directions. And also I'm going to be doing videos, uh, I call them video posters for my daughter. So a lot of stuff that I can leave to my daughter about her crazy dad. <laughs> so um, I'm taking a lot of different directions, but mainly three. Um, so anyway, that's my introduction that I'm going to attach to every thing I'm doing now so I don't have to repeat this. Be careful out there.